Today I'm going to teach you how to drop in and install on a mini ramp, front side and back side. If you're more of a beginner, it would help to wear pads like helmet, knee pads, elbow pads, and hand pads. I'm a little more comfortable, so I just wear my knee pads and helmet. You don't have to do that. <laughs> don't do that. What I like to do when I drop in is to place the groove of my skate onto the coping and then place my other one there, lean in, and just roll in. But make sure you bend your knees, and when you lean in, lean forward and not back so you don't accidentally slip like that onto your back. My groove on the coping, my other one on, lean in. Now I'm going to teach you how to front side stall and one knee to back in. Once you're comfortable dropping in into the mini ramp, you want to start to drop in and then touch the coping and just kind of roll off. Don't stay in or else you will go backwards. And for a beginner, that was a very scary moment for me. So don't go backwards. Try to touch it and then roll over. And once you get comfortable with rolling over, try to stall and then hold it for a little bit. Like Once you get comfortable with stalling and rolling a little bit forward, you're going to want to try to 180 out. But first, you've got to make sure that when you're turning, you look over your shoulder so you know where your feet are going to go. And you turn up first and then turn your hips. But make sure it all kind of goes in like a line so then you all go straight down. For example, go down, drop in, stall, turn your head, look, and then go back in. And make sure you don't roll off, make sure you actually jump, but it doesn't have to be a high jump. I know I did a really high jump, that was an accident. But don't go too high or else you will kind of like get scared. You might go out of control because I did that before and it wasn't fun. Now I'm going to show you how to backside stall. So one thing that's really important to know is that when you turn your shoulders, your body will follow. Let's get ASMR. Oh. Ew, no! The most important part is to know how to 180 and to know where your feet are going. Because when you stall, you're going to have to make sure that the coping is going into your groove on your skate. But when you turn your shoulders, your hips will follow. So everything will go the same way as long as you turn your shoulders. As I approach the coping, I turn my shoulders first just to get ready for the whole 180. And when I go, I look at the coping and place my feet in the middle where the groove is to the coping. Ooh, it smells like in and out. I want some animal fries. Make sure when you win 80, do not freak out and just flail everywhere because that will make everything worse and you will fall. And it will not be pretty at all. Make sure you're committed to doing the stall and the best way to learn it is to just try it. Who are we getting now? Once you feel comfortable doing the front side and back side stalls, it's good to start grinding into it instead of stalling. So to grind, it's easy if you go up at an angle so you're already going kind of that way or whatever way you're trying to grind. Do not go slow because then you won't move at all. Make sure you actually get speed. Like don't be like right in the middle of like slow, kind of mid. Like get a lot of speed so you actually slide. Whatever foot is leading is the way that you should be going. So if, I, if you're leading with your right foot on your front side, then you go this, then you go to the right. If you're leading to your left, then you go from your left. <laughs> it's, that scared me because I forgot it was like rusted. And there's your front side. Don't put that in. There's your back side. If you found this video helpful and you want more tips and tricks, comment what you're having trouble with and I'll do the best I can to help you out. Toodles!